Welcome to another Lumion 8 livestream tutorial guys. This is Chris Welton from C. Welton Design and in this tutorial we're going to be really quickly going to take a cool look at the better color correction or expanded color correction effect in Lumion 8. So this brings us again to Lumion 8's What's New page which is a great great page for really wrapping up and simplifying all of the new effects that I'm covering here with their own tutorials which are awesome and simple and this is just meant for to go a little bit deeper and play with these effects with uh, with kind of my commentary and hopefully kind of learn a bit more than their than their quick videos but that's if you want a quick example of how this does how this looks click right here so color correction is an effect that has been there before um, what they've done is added two sliders and we're going to play with those and one of them that's really exciting is the temperature slider so you're looking here they have a really cool shot of the different temperature um, variations you can add into your scene now to really play with the mood i mean each one of these has its own mood and its own feel that you have control over now and it, I think it's just great. In fact, let's take a look at that right now, jumping into Lumion. So I have this example scene open. Let's go into photo mode. So I've created a shot right here. And let's take a look at color correction. Color correction shows up. You'll see it in almost all of these new uh, style effects. They, they like to put in the color correction and what you'll notice, let's start a blank one here. Let's just do daytime. What you'll notice is color corrections there and they always seem to have it up just a little bit to the orange. And I think that has to do with the bluing or the blue tint that skylight which they have on here shows. And we can of course uh, down the saturation on skylight so it does not add any blue if we don't want to. But I think it's, in my opinion, it's, a, it's compensating for the blue. And it kind of rounds out more to orange and blue. Anyways, it looks great. But we can manipulate it if we want. So let's jump into color correction and show you. Here's the temperature slider. And the new other one is the vibrant slider. Which we'll go into a little bit more in a second. So looking at this temperature slider, zero. This is a, let me change this setting here to something like dawn something that's not so stark here let's let's jump into this one here it renders better I just want you guys to be able to see in real time what is it gonna look like and so I have this one here this is zero this is default and of course a little blue will come in from skylight and one is warm negative one is cool so very simple very straightforward and there's some it's like those images we saw that Lumion made of five, it's kind of switching in between each level here. In fact, I really liked that image that Lumion had on there. I thought it looked really cool, so I created my own. So I go ahead, went ahead and batch rendered zero. This one's point negative point five right here. This one's negative one. Then this is positive point five, positive one. And went ahead and created that image right here. So as you can see here, negative one, just like I explained, zero being the neutral color. And it's pretty cool. I'll take, I'd take any one of these ones, any one of these shades in here. They all look pretty good. Nothing looks too crazy or distorted, but it all depends on this, the feel you're trying to get in the animation. And there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of more, there's a lot more play involved now when we can control sliders like this. We also have to remember there is the analog color tab as well which is similar but involves a lot of other things going on here there's definitely temperature grading going on in here that we can control as well so don't forget about that that effect as well you just keep getting more and more adjustments inside of Lumion uh, I personally actually render to, um, to from Lumion and I do some more corrections advanced corrections and Premiere After Effects sometimes, but the more I can do inside of Lumion, the better. I mean, I would love 
to be able to get everything inside of Lumion, and they just keep adding little by little to the day why maybe I won't have to do it. I don't know. But taking a look at that, I also wanted to um, I want to sh explain really quickly because I didn't quite understand this. The difference between vibrance and saturation. Just a little bonus thing I'm going to throw in here. All of these other sliders, brightness, which I would recommend exposure better than brightness. There's contrast, saturation, gamma, which is also something I'm looking a little more into. And these just kind of clamp the high and low. Things I don't really play with too much. Those were all there before. It's vibrance and temperature that are new. So the difference between vibrance and temper and vibrance in saturation, I learned this, is to put it really basically, saturation is kind of a it's kind of a dumb effect. It's an old school filter that basically tells the pixels to to slide to the saturated levels, you know, regardless of where they are or regardless of how saturated they already are. And what always happens is when you turn it all the way up, you start to get distortions. You'll start to see it bleed. The reds will bleed over to everything else. I'm sure, I'm sure you've experienced this before. Luckily, Lumion clamps this down a little bit. All the way up, we're not even seeing too much distortion. But if I put like vibrance and saturation up, you start to see it there. You start to see some distortion. Not to say that saturation is not valuable. It is still very uh, useful in, in small quantities. But vibrance, to understand vibrance, it is literally the exact same thing, except for it's more of a smart filter. It understands when a pixel here in the grass is already saturated fully. So when you slide it up, it's not going to saturate it anymore. It's going to saturate the grass, the other greens around it, and bring those out. Let's look at, let's do this on zero, where we don't have the tinting going on. Okay, so vibrance all the way up, saturation all the way up. So vibrance is a better, smarter saturation, but really these are sliders to play around with and just make make it look the way you want. But what I went ahead and did for fun, I found this thing online, and I'm going to share these links online as well so you can play with them, is um, I found a cool online thing that lets you compare two images here. So here is temperature zero and temperature slid to one all the way to warm so you can interactively see kind of what it's doing to the effect and unfortunately when i first rendered these out i really needed to up the exposure when i created this image i had and so it made a big difference so you're going to see the blue makes everything look a little darker but that's not necessarily what the effect does that just that was um that's just how the the, the image had been set up before until i adjusted it so let's do this. This is the this is what I was talking about. It looks like the blue is making it negative one is making everything dark, but when you up the exposure, it's just fine. But I'd already made this, so I'll be able to share these. And also take a look at this one. Here, let's start with this is saturation all the way up. Distortion. You see the distortion going on there. It looks it looks bad. I mean, of course, this is at max settings. I mean, it's like you want that excitement without the distortion, and that's when we get vibrance. All the way up, no distortion, but beautiful, look at that sky. Beautiful, clear, saturated blue and grass. All right, well, that, that about wraps it up for this uh, tutorial. It's a very quick one, and I thought I'd throw in understanding the difference between vibrance and saturation because i didn't actually know that before and you know just to talk reflect back into lumion it's the we have all these effects and all these ways to adjust it just gives us more flexibility in the end and the more ways we can adjust and diversify our renderings you know the more the more uh, flexibility we'll have to create to work with clients and to meet their needs and get that special feel and that special look for that 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 main shot or that that animation that you're trying to get
All right, well, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe because I'll be making plenty more of these, especially covering eight. And um, please leave a comment for any suggestions that you want me to cover in future live streams after I get past these level, these Lumion 8 tutorials. I'd love to find out what you guys, but the majority of you guys really want to show, and I'll start covering that for you guys. All right, um, that's all, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Until next time.